Uh, Bunny. Yes. Go away. Bun- Bunny, my love. Bella, you threw me off because I said, Bunny, and then Bella said, go away. I know. And I I'm got like, confused, too. Are you trying to end my podcast early? That's not cool, Bella. I would appreciate, whatever you're doing is pissing off the baby, and if you could not do That's it, then that. Okay. 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 Gotcha. Matt, 10 4. Bunny. Yes. Let's, let's talk movies. There's a lot of movies that are coming and going from the box office every week. Someone drew tiny hearts. In my podcast notes. And flowers. <laughs> flowers. <laughs> and tiny cards. Are you sure you uh, sure Circle. I got my eyes on you, Bella. They Someone drew like hearts. It. Someone drew hearts. You know, it might not, not have me. been Bella. I'm yeah. Sure not me. And uh, flowers. Flowers. Hello. Someone drew flowers. These flowers aren't yours either. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Emerald. Emerald doodled pretty on sure. a, one of my homework notes. Really? While I was... Taking notes. That bitch. So I'm pretty sure that was our mom. Damn it. Yeah. Or yeah. somebody could have broken in. Yeah. Someone sabotaged you. It was probably uh-huh. a squirrel. Or Roger Corman. Oh, yeah. Or Roger Corman. Definitely the squirrels. Yeah. So there's a lot of movies coming and going each week. So I wanted to talk a little bit about some of them. About some of these movies. Uh, people are going gaga now. No, about the new horror film, A Quiet Place, which is basically sound designer porn. <laughs> Very excited about that. Finally, there's a film for sound designers. Yeah. For sound, of, for editors. This is an editor's film. You know? Very excited about that. Finally, a sound designer movie. Eleanor is actually doing... You know how, like... You used to see a, a like a like a like a news broadcast, and then on in the corner they'd have someone doing sign language. Yes. She said Yeah. Basically, Eleanor Our is here to translate the podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Eleanor classic, is, is classic a, Garrett Morris bit. Sorry, I just yeah. had, to, had to bring that no, up. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. Uh, Eleanor is talking in the background throughout this episode because she is going to be translating my podcast for one-year-olds. Oh, okay. Very excited about this. We're one of the first podcasts to cater to one-year-old little babies. Yeah. Very excited. Once again, we're breaking we're breaking boundaries. There's also Black Panther, which recently passed both Titanic and. Home Alone 2 lost in New York to become the third highest grossing film in box office history. That's one wow. of the- Wow. Well, well, no, no. Home Alone 2 lost in New York is not one of the highest grossing films, but technically Black Panther did surpass it. Black Panther surpassed a lot of movies. You could it, it, Black Panther surpassed Manos. Oh, wow. Well, well yeah, but but like five people yeah. paid to see Manos, so what I'm saying is, Black Panther made so much money that you could, you could, you could, name you could, movie. yeah, you could name any any movie, and only two would be wrong, you know. <laughs> uh, which two? Um, uh, it just passed Avatar. No, it just passed Titanic. So Avatar and something else. I forget what the other. Oh, uh, the one of the Star Wars is the first one, uh, The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens and Avatar. As long as you mention any other film, Black Panther has surpassed that. Okay. Black Panther surpassed the Apple to become the third highest grossing film in box office history. I, 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 don't, I don't know if it, I, I'm surprised that it surpassed the Apple. I mean, come yeah. on. Yeah. You, you, that is you one don't... of the number of Apple references that I will be doing. In this episode of the podcast. Very excited about that. You know, I mean, everywhere you go, you see people wearing their BIM, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, their BIM marks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not seeing a lot and of people also, with panther claws. Yeah. And also, there's a brand new movie that is really breaking, uh, uh, breaking ground. 
really pushing the envelope. An amazing new film. Very excited about it. It's changing what we consider movies. Very excited about this. Let me explain it to you. See, this afternoon I was driving to our massive 12-story Pope on Film Studios. Yes. Here in beautiful, racist, nowhere Oklahoma, where we tape our podcast each week live in front of a highly inebriated studio audience. Yes. They're so drunk that they're actually passed out, which is why the only people you hear in the background are my kids. The audience is here in front of us. It's just that they're completely wasted. <laughs> and, and on my way to the studios, I happened to pass by one of our three shitty movie theaters. And I always like to look at the marquee to see what's playing, what's new, what's the haps in the world of cinema. Ooh, yeah. let me read and see what that says. Let me slow the car down. Let me break my car in the middle of traffic, cause an accident, many killed. And and so they're playing a movie there at the theater that I hadn't heard of before. It's really groundbreaking stuff, almost revolutionary. Yeah. In terms of how it's pushing the envelope. It's called I can only imagine God's not dead three. <laughs> so this is how the movie works. You pay regular price. You pay like 10 or 12 bucks. And you get a ticket and you go into the theater, but they don't show you the film. Uh -huh. You just have to imagine it. You just get to be in a theater that's not playing a movie for an hour and 45 minutes. And you can basically, you get to imagine your own God's Not Dead 3. Mine so, features Chuck, Chuck Norris peeing on immigrants. So it's the it's the first truly faith-based movie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you have to have, uh, because, it, yeah, the entire movie just works on faith. Very excited about this. Yeah. I can only imagine God's Not Dead 3. Each movie is different. Exactly, and for for each one, yeah, because in my everybody, not, every, in my everybody who sees this movie has their own personal relationship with that movie. Yeah, yeah. in my version of God's Not Dead Three, the part of God is played by Elton John exactly how he looked as Captain Fantastic, the pinball player in the movie Tommy. Uh-huh. So, like, big bell-bottoms, ridiculous blue leather, like, high-heeled boots. Yeah. You know? A, a red Steve Zissou cap, sparkles, uh, 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 what is it, uh, um, uh, what are those things? Straps that keep your pants up? Suspenders. Suspenders. Suspenders, yeah. Nice sparkly suspenders. That's, that's my god in God's Not Dead 3. Very excited about that big fucking side sideburns. Good, good casting. Good casting. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and Chuck Norris peeing on immigrants. That's in my <laughs> God's Not Dead Three. That's in my version of I can only imagine God's Not Dead Three. So look for that at your local movie theater. Very excited about this new movie. Yeah. 